our world is beautiful. From the peaks of the highest mountains, to the depths of the deepest ocean. With the population reaching the 8.5 billion mark last decade, food, clean water, and other resources are in increasingly higher demand. For millennia, mankind has looked up at the sky and questioned our place in the universe. Through all of the years, our closest neighbor, was looking back. The brainchild of the Von Morgan family business, Alpha Station is now inhabited by the best minds Earth has to offer. Conducting groundbreaking research for the furtherment of mankind. The VMM Corporation has pledged to be a shining light for those in need. Contact your stockbroker and invest in the VMM Corporation today. The VMM Corporation. Great hacks are made up of small deeds. More rioting in the streets of Herculaneum today. With members of the Free Town Alliance. Are human. Don't worry, everything is going smoothly. The only thing left is the antibiotic data. Sorry to keep you waiting, Dr. Gray. Hopefully the suit isn't too uncomfortable. Come and see me in control when you're ready. Glocko Blocko here, checking out a game called Gray. This is a sci-fi horror space game where you're on a base on the moon and some things happen and uh, you're put into some unique situations but right now you're just starting the day off you got your suit on some cool pictures on the wall looks like a periodic table right there you're some sort of a doctor in this scenario message received from professor peniston yeah hi this is a message for dr gray Frederick, hey. Firstly, as I'm sure you're aware, your annual physical and mental well-being exams are due in the next few weeks, so could you please make arrangements with Riley and myself regarding transportation um, and a day's leave of absence? Uh, I'll be in touch nearer the time. Secondly, and more importantly, happy birthday, bud. I really hope I can make it out to celebrate with you. Um, looking forward to seeing you, mate. Uh, take care. And I'll, I'll hopefully see you soon. Whatever. End of message. First, we pick up this journal right here. Gotta double click to pick it up. Then it just has us wander around a bit. Looks like we went in here. Looking to see if we could change some settings or something. But it doesn't really let you change the settings. However it is, is how it will be. Some retro music right there. Heading over into this office area, there's actually a person in here. One of the few people you will actually see in the game. At least from what I've played, you don't you don't see too many people. Have you found the problem, right? He's over there working on this Sega computer. Or machine. Show a fault with the D-sided inverter in Unit 29B. There's a potential for a critical failure. You could see it on the grid there. 
that one again. He sees that there's an outage out there on the solar array. And they want you to go out there and fix it. But first we pop into this office and How's there's a lady now? here. Look who's decided to do some work. No, nothing yet. Com states are showing green across the board, but we've not got Pete back from Alpha for a good few days now. Mm. You think it's something on our end? Unlikely. I've run the diagnostics inside and out. Everything's optimal. They'll probably blame it on sunspots again. Ain't that the truth. Someone will have to take the express over before too long, especially if more than 29B fail. Yeah. Keep up the good work, Mac. See you later, Doc. So, with that all out of the way, you're left to explore and find your way outside to the solar array. Got some health packs here that you can pick up. I haven't used any of these health packs as of this moment. One other thing that's important in this game is the oxygen tanks. They aren't important at first, but later in the game they will be. While the story is not perfect, and the voice acting is not the best, I do think they do a good job in this game of building an atmosphere. You always get a sense of eerie, cold, and mysterious atmosphere around every corner. So we walk out into the solar array, checking out our base as we walk away from it. There's the earth there up in the sky. Nothing much going on out here, just a little bit of an outage, just gotta fix it and head back. That's what we think anyway. So I guess we're looking for that red light over there. Now. Can see the red light. Come over to the thing and it's a little mini game that you gotta do real quick. Activated. So you activate it. Open. Do you want me to manually power down 29B? Suddenly there's static coming from home base. Dr. Riley? Do you want me to power down from here? Come in, Dr. Riley. Mac, is Riley there? I can't reach him. Dr. Riley, are you reading me? Suddenly there's all sorts of odd noises and you look around trying to see what's going on, but it doesn't make much sense. So you run back to base to see if you can help them or if there's anything to be done, but we'll see in a moment what happens. sound stop but there's still something out there <laughs> suddenly an explosion happens and it launches you away from the base you wake up your suit says you're Critically damaged. Critical damage detected. 
Somehow, you're still alive. Now awake, you look on at the smoldering remains of your base. Now completely alone in space, at least for the time being. Like they're dead. Hear me? I'm taking the shuttle to get help. Hang on, I'm coming back. So you decide to leave and try and visit the other nearby station. There's a shuttle that'll take you there. Luckily, your suit is functioning well enough to where you're not dead. Heading over on the shuttle, some music plays and increases the tension. Well, it's not perfect, and there are many issues with the game. I think it's a cool start to a game, and you can tell that the people who made the game cared about it a lot, and put a lot of effort into it, so I think that's commendable. So, you land at this other facility. Back. Riley. My god, what happened? I have to send help back. I can't just leave them. Now in the other station, there's no one to greet you. Oh. Oxygen. Except for one Thank person God. on the intercoms. I'm gonna suffocate in this damn suit. You head over to the phone. Yes, hello? Who is that? Hello? It's Dr. Gray. Fre Frederick Gray. Gray. Oh, yes. One of Ryder's lot from Maria. I thought I recognized the suit. Recognized? How? Look up, Dr. Gray. I see you. I know where you are. Look, something happened at Maria. There was an explosion. I need to speak with you directly. Come see me in my office. Someone will be there in a moment to escort you. Okay, my suit is damaged and I can't remove it. Can you help? Of course, Dr. Gray. Now, 
please try not to distract the stuff too much. So you get to the base and this guy greets you. Doesn't give you a lot of information or much help at all. Says someone's gonna greet you, but that's not exactly what happens. Over here, there's a security office. There's an oxygen tank on the wall. I don't fully understand the oxygen system, but I'm sure with repetition you'll grow to understand it. There's a little item on the table I think we have to interact with before it'll proceed. The phone, maybe? Message received from Security Chief Rutowski. Desk 1, please respond. Intruder has been reported by multiple people. Prioritize a search of the station by all available officers. End of message. So the message on the phone seems to hint that they view you as an intruder. Meanwhile, you're just barely surviving a catastrophic event. Excuse me, could you help? You see your first person, <clears throat> okay. but they run away. So you proceed alone. After this, you wander around, just kind of following the green lights. Still nobody around. I can only assume there must be more stations similar to your own station. We go up these stairs, but I don't think this is the right way to go. We reach this little meeting area and the music changes. But not much else. Just kind of a stopping ground, I guess. It acts like you can interact with that oxygen tank, but could never get it to work. Tried sitting on these chairs, but it wouldn't let you. back down the stairs. We follow them down. Find the correct area we were supposed to go, which was down. Another corridor, and we find a room. And on the desk, a floppy disk. Guess it's a save disk. Not sure how the save system works. We only played until we died. Professor? Yes, hello. Who is that? Dr. Gray. Gray. Oh yes, uh, one of Ryder's lot from Maria. I thought I recognized the suit. What? What? What's going on here? I hope you didn't distract the staff too much. I we didn't. have to be productive at all times. Where is everyone? Professor. What can I do for you? There was an accident at Maria. I think Riley and Mac are dead. Can you get a medical team to the express? That won't do at all. I've shut the express down. Why? Protection. If we have a disaster as well, it will be our end. 
Things are already burning here, Dr. Gray. We can smell things in the vents. We are broken. Then I need a shuttle, please. No, no, that won't do at all. The shuttles are shut down. The only one who can authorize shuttle transport is the warden. Who? The warden? He may be hanging around next door, in the extended residency section. Can you get a hold of him? We haven't spoken in a while. There's a void between us. He's a difficult man. We cannot talk to the extended residency section. You will have to go directly to him. I have to get back to Maria Station. The warden is how you get to where you need to be. How do I get to him? Our entrance through engineering has been disabled. I can let you out of the emergency exit here. Okay, I'll be back soon. So he sends you on your way through this corridor and through a series of doors. There's a suit here, but it won't let me grab it. So that's a little annoying, but we proceed. What the hell is going on here? I can't find anyone apart from Freiburg and he seems out of sorts. That he did. So he sends you out this way. You get back to the ground level of the moon. You end up at this building here. Looks a bit ominous. There's a moon tractor. But we couldn't get inside. So we head to the green door. Upon meeting the green door, it opens. You made it. I will open the airlock for you. The creepy Freiburg guy says you made it and opens the door. Here you're greeted by bars and an ominous sense. But, doing as instructed, you head through. Bit of a pause. Where is Freiburg sending me? How did I not know about this place? Seems like there's a lot you don't know, Dr. Gray. Hello? Looks like a prison. Stop. Do not enter until instructed by officer. So it's basically a prison. Thanks a lot, Freiburg. We find an oxygen tank there on the table. And a button that'll open the door. 
So we head through. Welcome trapping to ourselves Please in this to the prison. For processing. We head over to the Resident spot they told three, us to two, stand. Seven. Zero. Processed. Designation C block. Where the hell did you send me, Freiburg, you son of a bitch? Then this door opens up. You crawl into this creepy elevator. And down you go. Or up, I'm not sure. Heading out. Resident 3270. C block, your induction will now begin. Follow all instructions given to you by staff members. Do not make direct eye contact with the warden now we've or got senior staff two members. oxygen tanks. Speak only when spoken to. I think oxygen there must be a button to uh, activate the oxygen tank. Same with the med kits. But we didn't know that at the time, so we're just gonna wander around. <sighs> There's a guy that says, hey, over here. But you don't find him. At least I didn't. Looks like there was an autosave moment right there. Read the mail over here. Kind of hard to read when it's a tiny little screen. Over here there's a thing, but you need a key card. Suddenly your oxygen starts to drop rapidly. Heading back the way that we came, and oxygen was depleted. And that's the start of the game. Take a look. It's in a book. Reading Rainbow.